It's kind of interesting, when James Gunn was fired by Disney for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, everybody was just like, you know what they should do? They should let Taika direct the Guardians. And then Taika was like, no, I'm not gonna do that. Fast forward a couple years and he's literally adding all the Guardians to Thor 4. Okay, so this movie has four random aliens, three random amphibians, two feral raccoons, and a Groot growing as a pear tree, apparently. See, I was trying to, like, theme that with the holidays and the movie and the Guardians and aliens. So yes, it looks like another Guardian of the Galaxy has officially joined the cast of Thor Love and Thunder. Well, not really officially, since Marvel isn't really confirming who is in this movie just yet, but another actress has showed up. This time, Palm, I am not gonna say that last name. Wait, never mind, I'll give it a try. Palm Clementef? Anyways, she plays Mantis. She has officially arrived in Australia and is going towards that, you know, few uh, week lockdown before she can get to the set. Meaning that, yes, she's officially there to start shooting the fourth Thor film. Now, I do need to remind everybody that Thor 4 is going to be utilizing the same stagecraft technology that they are using for Mandalorian. They will be using that extensively, and we know that recently Disney confirmed that they are ordering four to five new stagecraft stages for this exact purpose of making content a little bit more streamlined and safer. Now, I think with her being confirmed as well, we can sort of just say every single Guardian is just about joining this film. Like, every single Guardian that we saw at the end of the last time they were all together, which would be Avengers Endgame, is going to in some way, shape, or form appear in this film. Now, we don't know if she's in here for, like, you know, two minutes or ten minutes or just a small cameo, but it's a pretty good indicator that at least we're going to see all these characters before we have to wait another, like, two to three years to see them in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Now, I don't think this edition is also surprising at all, because the actress previously said in an interview that she was getting ready to shoot her next big project for Marvel earlier in the year. This is more than likely it, because it can't be Guardians. So again, everything's just kind of lining up here. And it's been teased that we're going to see more of this character as the MCU continues to evolve. So hopefully, you know, we get, um, well, some confirmation of the entire cast. Because if it's anything to go by from what we know, it's going to consist of when it comes to all the MCU members. It definitely feels like this is just another Avengers movie in space, which is honestly pretty damn awesome. So how are people feeling about this character? Are you excited? I mean, I am. I just want to see more of the character because I feel like I don't really understand the character yet because she hasn't really had her time, so maybe this will add a little bit more to it. And overall, she's a really nice, nice person. Having met her twice, yeah, she's real nice. So that's kind of cool. Good people getting jobs. That's awesome.